Welcome back to the Lee channel. Today we are going to look at how to set up your pressure sensor to do your volume versus pressure at constant temperature lab. Okay, so some of the equipment you have in front of you, I have Capstone open. This is Pasco at the, um, for the latest updated version. So you have the setup and I'm going to go to graph and digits. So then you get something that looks like this. In your equipment, you'll need uh, you'll need the USB connection for your pressure sensor, wireless pressure sensor, unless yours is fully charged and uh, ready to go for Bluetooth. Otherwise, you don't need that. Then you also have your syringe over here. You will also in your baggy you might find a tubing this one you don't need for your lab so put that one gently aside so the main key thing in this video is I want to show you kind of how to set things up and also how to, to uh, watch out for some of the safety and how to protect the equipment okay so to get everything set up you hook up hook up your pressure sensor to a computer okay Okay, so you have this set up, the light should be on, if not ready to go, and you want to check down here, it says wireless pressure sensor. So what you want is you want to make sure that the wireless pressure sensor, this is on. You also want to go check off the measurements here, and you want to make sure that pressure is selected uh, and time automatically sets. Here you want to select measurement, go to pressure and your measurements will be in kilopascals. You can change that by clicking, double clicking uh, on this and go to properties. And if you go to names and symbols, you can go down and you can change your units to whatever units you like. But kilopascals work just fine for now, okay? Okay, go back and then uh, this is optional, but you can also select this for it to be in units of time. Okay, that's up to you. So when you're fully set up on Pasco, it kind of looks like this. Okay, and let me put this back. So how do you collect your data? So what I've done is this. I'm, I'm going to actually take the reading off of here, put it on Excel, and graph it. So at the end of this experiment, you're gonna get something that looks like this. Okay, you got a nice little, you get a nice little uh, line over here. So how do you collect the data? Well, first of all, uh, starting with your syringe, you attach it here. Notice there's nothing, no tubing, but you have to be very careful. This is important. When you're screwing your syringe on, you want to make sure you're holding both pieces and you don't want to over screw it. So you want to screw it just enough that you feel, okay, that's pretty tight and that's it. Don't keep screwing because you can break the equipment. Okay, that's number one. And now when you, f when you first start this out, what I'm going to be doing is once the syringe is attached to my sensor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my syringe down to get a lower volume and higher pressure reading and then I am going to also pull on my syringe to get a low pressure, high volume reading. Now, if you increase the pressure too high, if you push, if you force a syringe too much, that's going to bad, be bad for your equipment. If you pull on your syringe too much, then that could also damage the equipment and the sensor. So what I like to start off is I like to start off my sensor, I like to start off my volume at 30. Gives me room to kind of push my, push it in, and also gives me room to pull out my syringe, okay? So that's just for safety and protection of the equipment, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is this, I'm gonna start to record, I'm gonna press the record, it really doesn't matter because you're gonna read that anyways. So I'm gonna press record and notice that is going to sense whatever is on my nib right here. But I haven't touched my syringe. So I, I set it at 30, okay, and I screw this one in gently, okay, until I feel, okay, that's just about tight. So don't over screw it. Now, I, I mean, I, I start with um, pushing it in and so when you are pushing the syringe in, you want to be very careful. You definitely want to have both hands on your equipment. One hand I'm going to hold here, and I'm going to use my fingers, and I'm going to just 
secure my syringe on here just to get that extra support. And when you're pushing your syringe in, make sure that you, your force is applied directly perpendicularly to, uh, to your sensor here. Don't try to push at an angle because not, that's not good for the equipment, okay? So notice I'm going to push, 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 push inward. Notice the pressure in the back is increasing. And of course you can read your volume directly on your syringe. Notice I'm applying the pressure, uh, my force of my fingers directly in. And once I have it at the volume that I'm happy with, I am going to leave, I'm gonna have to uh, leave it at there for a few moments for the temperature to, uh, for any heat or for any, any heat generated to dissipate off, just so my temperature stays constant. Okay, so I'm going to leave it for here for a moment just for my reading to stabilize and for temperature to equilibrate. And then I'm going to record that with my volume on my Excel file. Okay, so I'm going to gently release this, gently release this and put it on the table. Okay, just very carefully. And then, and afterwards, you do your Excel, put your type in your file, whatnot. And then now, if after you're done get collecting all your readings that have a lower volume then you can now go the opposite way so when you're pulling on the syringe same thing make sure the force is directed away from the sensor directly perpendicularly away so that you're not forcing things at an angle so I'm gonna pull on this very gently and I'm gonna put another put these fingers here just for that support okay so I pull it very gently Okay, and then when I get it to exactly the volume that I'm happy with, I'm going to leave it there for a few moments, collect the reading when everything stabilizes, and then gently let the syringe go to eat uh, back to where it was. Okay, so go back to Excel, record it. Then the last but not least, what I like to do at the very end of the experiment, just to um, uh, check at uh, especially if my readings are exactly the same as before is I like to put my syringe back at where I started which is 30 mils and just to read the temp the pressure again to see if it was the same or different than before because think about all the potential sources of error in this lab because I'm pushing it in and think about what might happen to the gas to the air and if I pull out increasing the volume, think about what could happen as well, okay? So I would take that last data point for that matter. So that's kind of how you do this one. And to detach your syringe gently, gently detach it from here, screw it gently off, okay? And then put everything in, push it in like this. Don't leave the syringe open like this because if someone knocks this, this is not gonna be that good. Okay, and there you go. That's your lab. Graph it on Excel and you're done for the data collection. Great. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this lab. I thoroughly did because uh, the data looks just really nice. Have fun with your lab and hopefully you collect, uh, collect data that you're also happy with. See you next time on the channel and uh, thank you for watching. Bye now.